welcome to another episode of Parsha Points, short thoughts from the weekly Torah portion. This week's Parsha Point comes from the Midbar, which is Hebrew for in the wilderness, and it goes from Numbers 1-1 to Numbers 4-20. This Torah portion begins with a census of the tribes of Israel and then describes the duties of the priests and the Levites. There's a lot we can talk about in this Torah portion. Today, we're going to talk about our spiritual journey in the wilderness. The name of this week's Torah portion is Bamidbar, which is the original Hebrew name for the book of Numbers. But the Hebrew term Bamidbar doesn't mean numbers. It means in the wilderness, as we see in the first verse of our Torah portion. Numbers 1.1 Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt. Even though God had delivered the Israelites from Egypt, there was a long period of time that Israel spent wandering in the wilderness before they reached the land of promise. The book of Numbers tells of their journey, the trials and tribulations they faced, their failures, and the faithfulness of God in the midst of it all. But why was there a need for Israel to journey through the wilderness? Why didn't God simply just transport them to the promised land after saving them from Egypt? After all, He's God. He just split the Red Sea? He's the creator of the universe? Clearly, he could have just zapped the Israelites to their destination in a nanosecond if he wanted to, but he didn't. Why? Perhaps the biggest reason is that although Israel had been physically delivered from Egypt, they were still in bondage to Egypt spiritually in many ways. We see this all throughout the book of Numbers. The constant complaining, the disobedience to God, the anger, the strife, and hatred between tribes. As the saying goes, although they had left Egypt, Egypt had not yet left them. We can perhaps look at Israel's wilderness journey as an allegory for our own lives as believers. After Messiah delivers us from the bondage of sin, there is a process of sanctification, a process of being set apart unto God that God wants His people to go through. This isn't only for His glory, although that's certainly the primary reason, but it's for our good as well. It would do us no good to live in the Promised Land if we are still enslaved to Egypt in our hearts. Ultimately, we are all on a wilderness journey, just like the Israelites were. We have been saved and redeemed by the blood of Yeshua, our Passover Lamb. Now we are in the midst of being sanctified unto God through a journey of trials, tribulation, learning God's commandments, utterly failing, and then trying again. That's what this life is all about. It's hard, but it's for our good. And as we run the race to win, we are assured of the promise in the world to come. Thank you for joining us for another Parsha Point. We pray that you've been blessed by this teaching, and remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high-quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.